Okay, so now that we're into the internal anatomy of the shark, we can go ahead and take a tour of the digestive structures. So we're just gonna go mouth to anus, alimentary canal, and accessory organs as well. All right, so let's have a look. Okay, so inside of the mouth, oh, that's interesting, a couple of fish heads. Oh, wow, I just rinsed it and, oh, wow. Lots of things are hiding there. Okay, so I guess you expect to find fish heads in the mouth. So, rows of teeth on the upper jaw and on the lower jaw. And yeah, you gotta be careful about those. They are super sharp, right? Okay, nice. And then the oral cavity, the pharyngeal cavity. Okay, and it looks a little torn here, but that's because there's been some dissection that already happened. So just sort of ignore that, just pretend that that's consistent and then look at all of these finger-like papillae and how they're facing anterior that tells you that you are out leaving the pharynx and entering the esophagus okay and so and if this wasn't damaged then we are actually also entering the esophagus is going to lay inside of the peritoneal cavity so there's that transverse septum here cool as soon as we get into the peritoneal cavity Okay, then these really, really um, kind of mark, remarkable structures, huge liver. And so chondrichthyan fishes, that's just a characteristic of chondrichthyans, is this huge fatty liver. And it's hypothesized that, that what's, what that's about is increasing buoyancy. So it's like super, yeah, slick, super, super oily. Okay, so we have a right lobe of the liver, left lobe of the liver, and then this median lobe, okay, just like in the pig, that's where you're gonna find on the deep surface, you'll find this sac-like structure here, that's the gallbladder, okay? And then, um, let's see, at the, we're just gonna kind of bounce back and forth. So this, this is an access, accessory organ. The gallbladder is gonna drain into the duodenum, but we're not there yet in the elementary canal. So let's go ahead and pick up where we left off in the canal. We're gonna to have to move this ovary over, okay? And so here we are at the esophagus, okay? And then it feels a lot more muscular here. And again, if we saw those, if we were opening it up and we saw those papillae, we'd say it's esophagus. How do we know we're in the stomach, right? Because this is also stomach. Well, the stomach has two regions, okay? So I'm pinching the stomach and then this clip is also in the stomach. So check this out, okay? So this part of the stomach is called the cardiac stomach. And see how it's got those folds in it? Those are called rugae. Yeah, and that's how you can tell. It's like, and then this part of the stomach is called the pyloric stomach. Because remember, with a pig, right, or you haven't seen the pig yet, you're gonna, right? There's the pyloric valve is, is controlling material, leaving the stomach to go into the intestine. We're gonna get there in just a second. So no rugae in the pyloric stomach. I'm gonna put a clip here because it's like super juicy in there and like you can see it's pretty slimy. Okay. Oh, it's too slimy, I can't use the clip. Okay, we're just gonna leave the clip off. Okay, cool. So then the stomach is gonna take a, a bend, like it does, and at that bend we see the spleen, just like in the pig, just like in us. Okay, we roll this over, and look, now, now there's a lot gonna happen here, just like in the pig. So we have the stomach, a curvature, and then a muscular knot. That's the pyloric valve, that's the pylorus. Okay, so this is going to be the beginning of the small intestine. Okay, so now let me lift this whole thing up. The beginning of the small intestine, and look at, we have these canals, right? Okay, and so we're going to have bile coming down a bile duct into the duodenum, okay, into the small intestine. We're, we're also going to see um, the, a vein that we'll talk about um, in this grouping when we get to the circulatory system. We also have, okay, just, just like in the pig, okay, we also have another glandular organ, so it's, um, and it's also a secretory organ that's also um, has a duct that's secreting right into the intestine. So that's going to be one of the lobes of the pancreas. It's a ventral position, so the ventral lobe. How do you find the dorsal lobe? I'm gonna pick up the stomach, admire the spleen, 
Okay, pick up that spleen, and there is the dorsal lobe of the pancreas. Dorsal lobe in the pancreas in those mesenteries, right? Under the stomach, just like in the pig and in us. Ventral lobe running along the duodenum, just like the pig and us. Okay, perfect. And then, okay, so follow the, let's see, find the duodenum. Good, with my finger, follow the duodenum, follow the duodenum, and then switch fingers. Okay, and notice that we have a larger structure here that's kind of banded. That's because inside it's got val it's valvular. Um, it's got a spiral valve inside of it. So this is called the valvular intestine or the spiral intestine. And continuing then downward, we have the colon and the rectum entering into the common cloaca. And that is it, mouth to anus.